Hello and welcome back to this week's video. So this week we are exploring printing. I recently got myself an Epsom 15 triple zero XP printer. So the XP, uh, Epsom XP 15000 is a standard kind of home to professional kind of printer. It's got a bit of a balance between both the home enthusiast and a little bit of the pro. So I decided to pick this printer up for the studio so that I could do some printing and have a look at some of my work. And over the last few weeks I've discovered a few things that are really interesting and I'm pretty excited to share with you guys. So the three main points that we're going to cover in this video is talking about how we can further explore your photos through the act of printing. Secondly, we're going to talk about how you can learn from those photos that you've printed. And finally, how printing is a process in which you can begin to start sharing your photos in a new way. And if you stick around to the end of the video, we're going to have a bonus tip at the end as well, which is something that has really excited me and probably it's one of the main reasons why I got this printer in the first place. So let's jump straight into it. I don't know what everyone's opinions are on printing. If you have already printed before, maybe you should let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys are kind of at with printing. I'm so new to it, so I'm super excited to share this video. So let me know in the comments if you guys are avid printers and what you are, what kind of paper you like. The biggest thing that I've learned from printing thus far is the fact that the process itself is very meditative. It is slow. It takes time. You watch the print slowly come out and then you have that physical object of the image. Sometimes it takes recontextualizing exactly what you have to sit down with the photo and take it off your phone, take it off Instagram, take it off your computer and look at it in a physical form to really understand what is in the image. Maybe it's something you didn't notice before or maybe it's something that is only clear when it is printed. And it's really incredible sometimes how this happens. You don't think that it will but it kind of does quite often you pull out a print and there's something extra in it that you didn't know about obviously you can learn so much from printing your images for me in the process so far i've learned that photos that i normally shoot at around f8 or above are just so much clearer and are just better to print so this is something that you can reflect on in your own work is think about what you did with that photo and then think about what you can do in the future to make it better you can diagnose your own photo and kind of find out new things that are like, did you see some leading lines? Do you see some colors that you really like? What do you notice in that print that you can then take to your next shoot or the next time you take your camera out and then better yourself in the process? I think printing is that thing that slows you down into that reflective period and you can have a look and change things and notice what you're doing good, what you're doing bad and really better yourself as a photographer. Finally, they're sharing in a new way. Like, this is the biggest one of all, I think. Um, I had someone come over to my house recently and they told me, hey, like, I'm interested in your work. Is there a chance that you could show me some of your images? And I wanted to naturally, but I didn't want to send them to an Instagram or a website or any of these things. I really wanted to show them prints, but I actually didn't have any. So it really triggered something in me to be like, I need to go out and make photos to show someone in the physical space. It almost legitimizes your work, having them in a physical form. Like it, the ability to show someone in, a, in, in, a, in their hand is so much better and they can take time to really look into your photos. And I think that that's a big reason why you should consider getting yourself a printer or if not getting yourself simply a space in which you can get some prints and show people. And it's just overall pretty fun, but it just is a new way to share. So the bonus tip is that I think that most people don't realize that you need to be able to store your negatives in a positive way, like in a smart way, not a positive way, in a smart way. So negative storage is a big problem across most film photographers. And if you haven't experienced the pain yet, you soon will experience it. So what I'm doing now is one of the biggest tips I can give anybody is print out a contact sheet, especially if you're a color photographer. It's rare to get a contact sheet from a dark room anymore. So what you've got to do is grab yourself the uh, Lightroom setting and then go to contact sheet and then literally just load yourself up that whole roll that you're editing through Lightroom and just print it out. And the printer automatically prints out a really low res, really low color image. And I think that's really beautiful to just put it at the front of your negative sleeve, put it in your folder, and then you've archived it and you don't have to look at negatives, you can look at a positive 
rendition of what is in each slide so that you know in the future when you're going through your negatives if I want to reprint something I know which frame is which it's an amazing trick and is worth spending a bit of paper on get some cheap stuff and just print out some of these because it is genius as my biggest tip and it's one of the main reasons I got this damn printer. So I hope this has got you excited to do some of your own printing at home or maybe get to a printer and do some. So consider it in the future. And if you've liked this video and you want to support me, please click the like button. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe to see the next week's video straight as it comes out. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.